Howdy folks, this is day 7, Friday, in the month of August. And I'm really enjoying the peace and quiet out here. Although, uh, there is logging going on right now. And the loggers use the road that's about 500 feet that way. That way. Um, and I can hear the guys yelling in, in the di distance. And I can hear the chainsaws and trees falling and stuff like that. But it's not really that bothersome. Other than the fact that they're falling trees. But uh, that's planned. Some of it is state owned. Some of it, some of it is owned by the landowner, the property owner. Anyway, some of the negative things about being out here. Um, I experienced food poisoning two nights ago. So that was very unpleasant for 24 hours. And I've killed my first mouse. Now I caught a mouse on one of those glue traps, but it managed to get away before I could snap its spine. Um, but I went out yesterday and um, bought some of those snap traps. And let me tell you, that worked. I hadn't seen one of those things since I was a kid, and it took me a few minutes to figure out how it worked. <laughs> didn't, didn't snap my fingers though, so I, I remember doing that as a kid. So I was very cautious about that. There was simple instructions on the package, but uh, I didn't really totally explain what you needed needed to do. But uh, I figured it out, obviously. Killed my mouse and it got it right in the head, right through the eye. So it was probably an instant death, I would imagine. Um, what else negative? The negative, it's cold in the cabin and dark in the cabin. The only way to get any real light in there is to have the door open, but by having the door open, that means the bugs and insects come in. Um, it's cold in the cabin. Um, like, this, like I had said earlier, there is no insulation in there, and that's part of the reason. So last night it was probably dropped down to the 60s, maybe the 50s. Um, and I almost got up and, and put some wood in the wood fire and the wood stove and made a wood fire, but I didn't do it. Uh, I just grabbed another blanket. So I think I'm going to, to uh, use a sleeping bag instead of blankets because um, when I'm off the ground there's air circulation underneath and that seems to make it colder. I thought about putting an air mattress on the floor, um, but that might be, I don't, I don't know. I'm going to try the, the sleeping bag method tonight. So yesterday anyway, um, I had, two, two days ago I had um, no, three days ago now, I had a, a doctor's appointment and I had to go get a shot in my left eye. So that was the second shot I've had in that eye. They're doing shots instead of laser surgery, which I'm so thankful for because it's so much less painful and it seems to be doing pretty good. Um, so I have to take every six hours, I have to put some drops in my eye for four days, no big deal. But um, it kind of really zapped my energy for the first day and a half. And then uh, then I got the food poisoning. So it was just kind of unpleasant. It's right in post video yesterday at all. What else can I say? Um, oh, because I was out of, I was off, off the property, I went to my storage unit and I got a sleeping bag and I got my, an air mattress. Because the bed is, the, the fold out mattress from the sofa is extremely uncomfortable. And I was having, literally, from my hips to my neck, nonstop, constant pain. And I know it was from the bed. So I went and got a cot and an air mattress from out of my storage unit and got a sleeping bag and got a second blanket. Um, I got some other things, too, that are pointless at this point because I haven't done anything with them, they're just sitting in the, in the cabin for the moment. Um, I also went to the store, like I said, I, I bought mouse traps and I bought some carpet cleaner because the area where the food was in the kitchen has a little bit of a smell to it. So I bought some carpet cleaner there. Uh, the generator stopped working so I had to get that fixed, got that fixed. Did not get the, the hinges. Um, I totally forgot about the hinges. I totally forgot about getting my tools. 
um, the ones I have just a generic set here and I need more specific tools and I have just forgot about getting them um, I got some more clothes although I got tons of shirts I have, but I only brought like three pairs of underwear with me so I guess I'm going to be washing my underwear or make another trip back to my dad's house to get some underwear um, a lot of things that I would like to do I realize would be more long term if I were going to be living in the cabin more than just a month so I really have to make decisions about what I'm going to do and why I'm going to do and and so on and so forth because I, a lot of things I really would like to do but there's no, it's pointless doing it because I'm not going to be here more than a month so um, I don't know maybe I'll give you a little tour around the, the cabin and the inside of the cabin again my today's goal is to clean up the bathroom and prep it for building the shelf um, if I can do that with the limited tools that I have. I need a 2x6 and I don't have any. I only have 2x4s here. I thought I had some underneath the cabin but um, they're not there so I don't know what happened to them. Maybe they got burned. Maybe someone took them. Um, so I, I may make do with 2x4s or I may wait until I make a trip out of town again to buy some 2x4s. Uh, sorry, buy some 2x6s. Now, I, I have heard that there is an Amish hardware store about five miles from here, five or six miles. So I may try and figure out where that is and see what they have at the store. That would save me from going all the way into town. That's like a 45-minute trip. Oh, let's see. What else can I say? I don't know. The gnats. Why do gnats always buzz around your ears? Nowhere else. Maybe your eyes, maybe, but with glasses they don't buzz around my eyes, but they do my ears. <laughs> so, I don't know. i just enjoying the day, and I'm kind of making a long post because I didn't make one for yesterday. I haven't had a campfire since three, four nights ago. I'm okay with that. I don't really want to burn up all the wood because I want to save it for the inside anyway. Um, I could chop some wood if I got off my lazy ass and did it. There's some dead trees around here I could definitely cut down. And there's also some fallen trees that's not part of the logging that just they just fell for storms or because they're dead or whatever reason. I could chop those up. I don't have a chainsaw <clears throat> so I'd have to rely on just an axe. I'm not really sure that I really want to uh, spend all that energy for since I'm not going to be living here more than a month but if I get bored or lazy or if I get bored and not be lazy then I might do that I don't know uh, I figured out a good place for the solar panel well this is uh, August and if anyone can see this plant, it's called a May apple. If you look real close, right there, there is still a May apple on the plant. So there is the grill covered in a motorcycle cover. I was told there was propane in there. It's not. There's not. Um, I was also told that you could use charcoal in there, but I don't see any way of doing it. Although, I did discover that inside the smoker area, there's a rat's nest, or sorry, a mouse nest. So I put one of those little snap traps in there. See if I get anything next couple days. And that blue thing beside the tarp, next to the window, next to the building, is the shower that I was able to uh, uh, get and I'm going to build that as an outdoor shower. So dinner tonight is a sweet potato that's in the fire wrapped in tin foil. And right here I've got some beans. They soaked for 12 hours overnight and then I drained them, rinsed them, 
They've been soaking in, in water again since about 1 o'clock this afternoon. It is probably 7 o'clock in the evening, maybe 6 o'clock. Can't really see where the sun is at the moment. And they've been over the fire for about a half an hour now. But I think I'm going to put this grill down over top of the fire and put the pot in so it's closer and move the sweet potato on top of the grill and see what else I have in the kitchen to cook up. And that'll be dinner tonight. It's been a long day. <clears throat> I don't know if you can hear, but in the distance there's a generator going. Um, just basically testing out, trying out the generator, see what all what it does. Um, it's not my generator, it's the owner of the property. And uh, it's actually his generator and he said he hasn't used it in six months or longer. And so he just wanted to see um, how it was like for me to use the generator right here in the cabin since it has electricity um, hooked up to it. So it's going to be an experiment. Um, I'm fine by that for the night because uh, I prefer using the solar. Um, it's not that much brighter in the room using the incandescent lights that are in there. So, um, but anyway, we're just doing it for night anyway. But today, the reason today's been a long day is because um, the owner of this property got a free um, camping trailer. I'm not really sure what, the, what it's called. The uh, point is, is that we spent the entire day pretty much out there working on the camper. We uh, hooked up a battery to it for the DC power and got the fans to work, like the, the stove fan and the bathroom fan, um, but could not get the DC lights to work. I haven't figured out how that one is set up yet. Then we set up the generator and got the, the AC power to work in the camper. So we figured out how everything expands and contracts into making into beds and back to chairs again and where the tables come up, pop out of and where there's sleep, uh, hidden sleeping compartment and so on and so forth. But it was so it was fun. We cleaned, did a little bit of cleaning there. Probably go back out there tomorrow. I'm not really sure exactly what my plans are for, are for t tomorrow. Um, but we did discuss about putting in the composting toilet here at the cabin. And we both decided that we need to do some finishing work first in the bathroom. So first off, we're going to put in some insulation since there's no insulation in the rest of the building, but the, the bathroom probably needs it the most. Um, especially if the composting toilet, uh, I think it requires it have, has some kind of insulation around it. I don't really know, but in any case, we're going to insulate the bathroom and the kitchen, maybe the kitchen. We have to tear the walls out and do the kitchen. And then put up some walls in the bathroom, and then we're going to put up a little shelf slash cabinet, then put in a sink and the composting toilet. Uh, we're also going to put in an overhead water tank, that, which we're going to get water from the stream over there. And we've also come across a little water power generator, which is also going to go to the stream. So that's going to be acting as a pump to take water from the stream to the cabin. But it's also going to be able to be hooked up to a battery to charge just like the solar power does the battery currently right now. Well, it's rained two days in a row. Yesterday it rained from about 1 o'clock in the afternoon until about, uh, I don't know, at least 3 o'clock in the morning. I don't remember it past then because I was asleep by then. Um, <clears throat> I woke up in the middle of the night, so that's the reason I know it's still raining. So it's about 2 o'clock in the afternoon, maybe 2.30, and it was been sprinkling on and off today. Looks like the sun is trying to come out again. Anyway, so today the project 
for today was uh, figuring out how to get water from the stream to the cabin. So if you look behind me, so basically the cabin is that way. So if you go in this direction, you go that direction. We walked. We had one of those little measuring machines, and I was the acting pole. And we went up to a set of trees there, and then up to further, and then, and then up to the actual stream itself. And we determined that we got found a place where the stream is about a foot above the roof, the roof line. And so we can do a, a gravity fed water system from the stream. So it's about 230 feet. And so the, we went to the Amish hardware store today and they have 300, no, sorry, 320 feet. So they have 300 and 400 tubing. Um, I'm not sure what we've decided on, but we didn't buy anything today. But uh, we definitely decided that um, it's definitely feasible. Uh, we're going to build a dam up there. Not sure when we're going to do that. Don't know if that's going to be this afternoon or whether it's going to be at a different date and time. But so anyway, we've the water. There's a water tank underneath the cabin, which is something that I got when I when I first started coming out here after the cabin was first built. I don't even remember where I got it. Um, but in any case, it doesn't really matter. We decided to put it up in the loft right next to where we're going to put the vent tube for the composting toilet. Uh, 